Hello everyone. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on Spark. In today's session, we will focus on one common task in Spark data processing, which is reading a CSV file. I will guide you through the process using IntelliJ as our development environment. For the purpose of this video, I'll store the CSV file in my local file system. However, note that the approach for reading CSV files remains the same regardless of whether the file is stored in Hadoop or S3. The only difference lies in the configuration settings that are required to read data from HDFS or S3. To begin, let's create a sample file. I'll put the CSV files inside a folder called CSV files. And let's create a sample file named data.csv. I will add three columns in this file, which is ID, name, and date of birth. Let me add some data into it. Okay, now my CSV file contains these four records and one line stating the column names. Now I'll create a new Scala object. I'll call it read CSV file and I'll make it an object. So inside this object, I'll create a main method. So for reading the CSV file, we need to initiate the Spark session. Whenever I create a Spark session, I also write spark.stop at the end. And everything that is related to processing the data in Spark will go in between the spark.stop and creating the Spark session. In order to read a CSV file in Spark, we have a method called spark.read.csv. We are going to use this method to read our CSV file. So before we are going to read it, let me read the file path I mean we should know the file path before we read the file so the file path is going to be the complete path of this file so this is my file path which is in atomic engineering CSV files data.csv and I'll read my CSV file into a data frame called csvdf so I am going to use the spark.read.csv method and my file path goes inside so this is path once i have read the csv file let me i'll do two things i'll print this schema of the csv df and the second step is i'll also see the data that is inside the csv df so this is going to be the simple code to read any csv file from a known location so let me try to run this code as you can see that the schema is printed here which shows that we have column 0 column 1 and column 2 so this underscore c0 c1 and c2 is the basic 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 default representation of columns in a spark right so in our scenario for our csv file we have not mentioned the column names when we are reading this data frame when we are reading this csv file into the data frame as we have not mentioned the column names spark by default provided the column names as c0 c1 and c2 so when we are printing the data we can see that the column names are c0 c1 c2 and the first row contains the name of the column which is present in our data.csv we can use these names as our column names and rest of the rows as data when we are reading our csv file in order to do that, we can provide one parameter using the option keyword. So inside option, we can tell header is true. So when we tell this parameter option as header is true, then Spark will assume that the CSV file that we are going to read contains a header, which is going to be the first row in the CSV file and it will take this header as the schema for the data frame 
now let us try to run the same code which option header provided and see the result now you can see that this schema is printed based on the first row in our csv file which is id name and date of birth and and the data also contains the first row as the column names and the first row is not present in the data so this is the expected output that we need and now there would be some scenarios like when there is a typo when someone is entering these records comma might be coming in between any of the name so what if there is a comma or a special character that is coming between any of the name let us see what happens so this needs to be handled at file level and this will be handled when someone is providing providing you the csv file itself but let us go through how how spark is going to handle if there is a comma in between the name i am going to run the same function but on a data that has a comma in between the name so the schema is picked up correctly and if we look at the data the id values are correct and if and the name column contains al and ice in the date of birth column the reason being spark will consider the csv file based on the commas so until the previous comma to current comma it will consider to be one column and it took ice to the next column which is dob as the header contains only three column names so it ignored the fourth column name so in order to handle such scenarios sometimes we might get the csv files with a different delimiter than comma so there might be a comma or typo in the name but these columns are sorry these columns are separated by a delimiter other than comma let us assume that in our scenario it is a pipe if we look at the data so the comma is still present in the name which is a typo but the column names are separated by pipe now if we run the same uh, csv file reader spark will still look for comma in the data that we have provided and it will assume that the entire thing to be a single column because there is no comma so as you can see that the schema is now printed as a single column which contains everything so it has printed only single column is present in our csv file but what we need is we need three different column names to be displayed as a part of our data frame now even if you look at the data frame it shows as a single column it doesn't it doesn't separate these three column names because it didn't it it did not find any comma in between but when you look at the first row it has printed only till al because there is a comma in the uh, first row so it took the data until here to be the first column so in order to handle such scenarios we can provide one more option which tells that which tells about the delimiter we can explicitly mention that the delimiter for the csv file i am going to read is going to be the pipe and spark will look for pipe instead of looking for comma now we got three column names and the data is also printed correctly and the comma is also present but comma is not impacting anything here whatever we have in the data is getting printed in our data frame result in this scenario we know that the rows are separated based on new line the column names are present in the first row and the first record is present in the second row and third row contains the next set of records and the fourth row contains the next set of records but what if these rows are separated by some other character maybe let us say semicolon but not in new line so this is going to be the header and this is going to be the first row and our second row is present continuation to is and our third row might be next to it separated by semicolon please observe that every row is separated by a semicolon but not a new line character in this kind of scenarios we can set one more option which tells us the line separation so the line separation that we have now is the semicolon so if we provide this option the semicolon spark will read the data correctly 
so we have provided the semicolon so now spark has read the data correctly based on the semicolon now what if we provide this semicolon and make this data file to be like this so if we use this semicolon in our older file and if we process this file so spark will fail to parse the file correctly now you can see that it has not parsed the file correctly in this data the file sub, uh, line separator is new line in the previous scenario the line separator is semicolon as i have showed you now as in this case it is a new line so we can replace this semicolon with new line and if you run this it should be able to catch up correctly so by default spark will assume that the delimiter is going to be comma and uh, the line separator is going to be the new line so if it is a new line we need not to explicitly mention that it is a new line so once we mentioned the new line character as line separator it uh, displayed as correctly for better readability let me put these options in a new line so spark provides multiple options when re when we are reading this csv file but what if these options are going to increase continuously right if there are 10 to 20 options that we can provide if you want to provide all the options continuously you should be able to see the redundant code that contains option every time so in order to overcome that you can provide options in a separate variable and call it a map so the first option is going to be the header and header is true and the second option is going to be the delimiter and delimiter is pipe third option is going to be line separator in this scenario the line separator is new line okay and instead of providing multiple option lines here we can just tell options here options and this instead of option it becomes options when we are providing these options so everything should be string to the string mapping so now let us try to run this and see how the result is going to change so it should not ideally change now you can see that the data is read again correctly so by using this options parameter we should be able to provide all the options for a csv file in a single map method now uh, i would like to consider one more scenario let us say that your data.csv file should always contain three columns but in some cases there might be another column coming in so in such cases i don't want to process the file so if you don't want to process the file when there are incorrect numbers of columns coming in you can tell spark an another option which is max columns if you provide this max columns i made it three so in this scenario max columns are three but one row contains one more additional column which is comment so uh, when we provide this max columns equal to three if there are more than three columns in this file spark will fail to process the file so you can see that we are seeing an error that uh, in line three so which is this line line one line two line three in line three there is some mismatch so line three there is a column number four something so if we provide this max columns so we should be able to handle any files that have more than three columns in our case it has one only one row that has more than three columns that's why it, it failed so let us try to provide max columns as four and see what happens so we mentioned that max columns is four but it has printed only three columns because the header contains only three columns but this job has successfully completed the reason being the max columns are four here right and it is allowed scenario for our job as we have mentioned the max columns has four now this is how we are going to read a single csv file using spark from your local file system 
in case if you are reading the file from s3 or some other location so if it is s3 it might be s3a or it might be s3 and depending on the scenario that you are going to use if it is hdfs it's going to be the hdfs but we have to set the hdfs or s3 configuration that i will show you in a different lecture so for now let us assume that all of our data is present in local file system but if you want to apply any of these uh, options it is going to be the same even if you are reading a file from hdfs or s3 or any other location Okay, now we read only one csv file now i'll create one more csv file so i'll copy this i'll call my new csv file as data1.csv it's going to be the test file so i'll change this is going to be my second file so i have data.csv and data1.csv so which is which contains only these three columns and there is one additional comment which, which we can ignore so if you want to read both of the files in both of the files into a same data frame in uh, same data frame in spark you can provide the sequence of files so the first file is going to be the data.csv and the second file is going to be data1.csv so this is the sequence of files and we can provide this file path as paths so instead of path we provide paths so this colon underscore star is the method that we use to fetch the uh, items in a list or a sequence right even if it is a sequence or a list right even if you use list so this is how you will be accessing the elements of the list in scala right and now we are now we have provided two files our csv data frame should now contain eight rows so let us try to process this so you can now see that it has listed uh, two paths and the column names are going to be the three and in our data now we have eight rows so which is expected and this is how we read multiple files so instead of path we provide provide paths now now what if you want to read the data the all the files inside this folder now i want to read all the csv files inside this folder now inside this read.csv we provide this folder entire folder and even in this scenario in the folder contains two files you should read both of the files you can see that data contains eight records so it means that it has re read the both files so this is how we read a single file or list of files or entire folder that that contains csv files in spark i will share you the link to this code file as well as the data file in the video description please go ahead and feel free to download and explore so i hope this video provides you with a clear understanding of how to read a csv file in spark using intellij thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting spark tutorials and stay tuned for next video thanks for watching